Trey wants to buy an Xbox One. It costs $650, but is on sale for 15% off. What will he pay? There's two ways to do it. The first way is pretty common sense. So we work with the 15% like we normally would. So we would say 15% of $650. And then we would calculate this just like normal. We would change 15% into a decimal or into a percent. So that is 15 hundredths of his times $650. And that comes out to a discount of $97.50. We're not finished yet. What we need to do is subtract the $650 minus the $97.50. And that gets you a final price of $552.50. The other way to do it is to think of it instead of finding 15%, what we really want out of the $650 is 85%. We want to keep 85% of the $650 because 100% minus 15% is 85%. So we want to keep as our price 85 hundredths times $650. Which when you multiply 85 hundredths times $650, you see that you get straight to the $552.50. Deja is buying some Jordan 12s. They cost $190 but are on sale for 20% off. I want to find the discount of 20% of $190. To calculate that, we change 20% to a decimal or a fraction, which would be 2 tenths times 190, which would give us a discount, $38. Now to finish, that discount of $38 needs to come off the original price. So we do $190 minus $38, which gives us a final sale price of $152. The other way to do this one is instead of saying we want to find 20% of the $190, say that we want to keep 80% of the price because 100% minus 20% is 80%. So what we want to do is we want to find 80% of 190. And in one step, we can find the amount. So we got 80% would be 8 tenths times 190. When you multiply that, it gets you the final answer right away of $152. That's her sale price. You need to read these percent situations very carefully because they're not all the same. This one says Clinton bought a Gucci belt for $300. They're telling you what he paid. It was on sale for 25%. What was the original price? So meaning, what was the price before the sale? Because he only paid $300 and they took 25% off. So what was the price before they took it off? One way to do this is to make a proportion. So now the $300 is out of some amount of money that was the original amount, and they took 25% off. That means that the $300 is actually 75% of the original amount. You can then cross multiply to solve. So you have 30,000 equals 75x. It's a one-step equation. The opposite of this multiplication here is to divide both sides by 75. And we find that x is $400. If you don't want to use a proportion, you can solve the equation 300 is equal 
to 75% of the original amount. And when you divide both sides by 75 hundredths, you'll still get the same answer of x equals $400. We don't always use percents to find discounts. Sometimes we can use the percents to make the price go up. Hailey is in charge of selling snacks at Walmart. Walmart gets a box of hot Cheetos for $7. Hailey must mark up the price 30% so Walmart can make a profit. What must he sell the box of hot Cheetos for? Like we were doing before, we can do it the normal way, which would be to find 30% of $7. That's 3 tenths times $7 is going to be a markup of $2.10. So he'll have to put those two things together, the $7 and the $2.10, to make $9.10. $0.10, the selling price. They need to mark it up, otherwise they don't make a profit. A second way of doing it, and it will allow you to do it in one step, is to think that we want all 100% of the $7 plus we want 30% markup, which is a total of 130%. So in one step, we just find 130% of $7. Change the 130% to a decimal, that's 1 and 3 tenths, times 7. And we still get the same answer of $9.10. That's what he needs to sell the Hot Cheetos for. When you're calculating tax, that's the same as marking up the price. So the work is exactly the same. Yaya is buying the $650 iPhone 7. With 7% 7 tax, how much will he pay? So we need to find the tax. 7% of $650. 7 hundredths times 650 gives you a tax of $45.50. To find out how much the total is that he needs to pay, we need to put these two numbers together add them up so we end up with a total cost of six hundred ninety five dollars and fifty so doing it this way requires two steps if you would like to do it in one step think about we want one hundred percent of the price plus seven percent tax so that's gonna be a hundred and seven percent so now we find 107% of $650. 107% is 1 and 7 hundredths times 650. And in one step, we find that the price that he needs to pay, same as before, is $695.50.